wait, let's take a look at this crown. Is this crown? Yeah, yeah. I think I was oh, wearing it. Right. Yeah, you guys want to? Uh, yeah, let's check out what it is. You this? can keep wearing it. I mean, we. If, yeah, you, you guys want like to? I'm really little. Like you guys it. can just look at my head. Um, <laughs> look at my head. What Kingston, is this thing? Kingston, Kingston, weren't you talking about that guy who um, puts valuable things up his butt? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. yeah it's fine. Is that guy who comes in here all the time? Yeah, there's uh, a guy who comes to the hospital you, a lot who puts stuff up his butt. I'm yeah. saying we Do you could... think it came out of his no. butt? I don't think you can fit a crown up there. Could... Sweet. Ooh. 24. Ooh. 24. 24. Very. And get the sense that, yes, this is a magical crown. Whether or not it's been up a single individual's butthole <laughs> is hard to say. Right. All right. In all likelihood, given the state of wear and tear on the crown, this thing could have been up any number of bottles. We get out of this dirty ass sewer. <laughs> can we? Put, we can have. We can, there up. might be some more cool stuff. I just started going through. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, 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 let's go. Cool I can't breathe. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. I was modeled to look like you know. A million bucks. Thanks. <laughs> you see, she says I was modeled. You know, they hired a woman to design me. That's a big deal. You can right? tell. Me. You can tell. You've got a woman's it's touch. touch. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> you a feminist? Yeah, I think that's great. <laughs> I am a feminist. I oh definitely God. have to interrupt this. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> what year did the Bethesda fountain get installed? One second. <laughs> Just gonna you put you to... on the spot real quick. Yeah, what do you <laughs> make your dome? What do you yeah, make? I, mean, no, I can tell you specifically. I can tell you the, the reason. I... Um, this <laughs> soot is not burnt stone or wood. This is old cremated flesh. Jesus. <gasps> <clears throat> uh, congrats. Hey. Oh, hey. What's, what's that? Uh, this is a person. I mean, Wait, here, do you, you guys want to do something? Are you going to snort no. some kind of dead demon person? No, no, I want to no, keep it so like that we can it's test like it. It's like evidence. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought we were going to snort it. I was going to say I'll do it with you. Oh, Congrats, you can have some glow oh, if you want. Honestly, I don't, I don't touch I this wanna, stuff anymore. I kind of want to know what happens if I snort the guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't I'm think that's right. I'm a rat. I'm sorry. That's not a rat thing. You don't have to take magic. Maybe I have it. I know I'm not a healer, but maybe that's my magic. Sophie. I put so. my hands on it. <laughs> Sophie, your magic is that you're a wonderful person and you jump really good. I can't be here. I have to find a way to get back in touch with the waters. Can we take you to the, the reservoir or Washington Square Park or somewhere else like that? You could always stay at my place. Do you live in a fountain? No, I'm on Staten Island. I'm gonna go to Washington Square Park. <laughs> Great. And uh, no one wants to go to your place, Sophie. Just, I'm really the, the sorry. Ferry is so quick. Well, I can fly, so it's not okay, about that. Right. But I'm gonna go to. Uh, well, let's go. I'm going to this wedding. Go to wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the bread wedding. The pigeons are gonna get off. I'm uh, predicting it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good point. The bread wedding. I feel like it didn't the get the bread wedding because it's That's bad good. for birds That's to good. eat their bread. Yeah. Thank you. I thought it was really right. Good stuff. I, I thought birds could eat bread. I think they don't. They don't. Congrats doesn't really get to tell oh jokes out. I'm, 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 I'm a fucking rat. I'm sorry. I like a bread wedding. Thank hey. you. Huh. It looks like you found your way back to the wedding. Funny. Is it uh, appropriate in your various cultures to say hi to wedding, uh, leave for the entire ceremony, and then come back to enjoy the free food and drink? I'm, I mean, I'm fascinated that during your daughter's wedding, you were scanning the crowd to see who was in attendance. Darling, the show must go on. Sometimes things happen, and you have to improvise, and that's what's so exciting about life. Give me a Please help yourself to some cupcakes. And also, we have, I believe, uh, some cannolis that are being passed around right now. They mm. are. You do, you... I'm eating one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good, right? We got it from Gianella's over in Brooklyn. They do a great cannoli. Oh, you should try it at a Spaghetti's. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in Staten Island? <laughs> a bakery? Spaghetti. Is there a bakery named Spaghetti? Is bakery? I'm sorry, I have to, I have to raise a point. Isn't your last name They're just the Italian word for bicycle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, woof. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Do you fair. bake spaghetti? I don't know. <laughs> There's a bakery called Spaghetti. Oh, it's, the, the Joey Spaghetti. Is, it's really good. It's honestly not bad. Um, uh, I'm going to need... I mean, I'm just drinking champagne, baby. 
You're just talking, I'm like you... dancing like this, like a like a real cool old lady. Misty, ha ha, hi. Oh, looks like the dancing's getting started a little bit nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perry, as well, kind of, uh, uh, you kind of shake a tail feather? Yeah, we can dance. Uh, yeah, uh, I start doing my dance with Perry. Uh, I just have one dance. To see Ronald, you know, like we were all worried for a little while because he had that whole thing with Jessica Pigeon, and that was sort of weird for a while. What was up with Jessica Pigeon? Oh, you know, it's one of those things where they met in college and they sort of fell into a pattern, and then they got off and sort of changed as people, but it was kind of like good money after yeah, that. Yeah, okay. They had already sunk so much time into the relationship that as they became more and more incompatible. It just didn't seem to make sense anymore. Yeah. And all of our friends, you know, nobody wants to be that first person across the river to sort of mention like, hey, you guys fight more than you get along. So <laughs> maybe you should guys think about packing it in. You're still in your early 20s. You know, you could actually, you know, find another partner, go out and date around. But it just seems to be that kind of thing where, uh, you know, routine and habit is every day it gets harder against the weight of all the previous experiences to break out of a bad pattern. It's where you're codependent. I stuff a Xanax <laughs> in his mouth as I pass by. <laughs> so much Xanax in yeah. one pigeon. <laughs> it was a quarter. It was a quarter of a bar, don't worry. <laughs> oh. How does Jessica feel about this wedding? So loose. So loose. Everything's good. She's. You're just good. I'm good. Right. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> hey, I thought I was helping you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the most I've ever gotten out of Barry. Uh, yeah, well, congratulations on your wedding day. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Oh, my God. That's so sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Congratulations. Where are you guys going to honeymoon? Well, there's a lot of rooftops in the city. They have a lot of crumbs on them, so that's where Ronald's interested in going. W what about you? I mean, your honeymoon shouldn't just be something that's so specifically for your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll end up going probably anywhere, but every time I've asked, he only mentions these rooftops with crumbs on them. Oh, okay. Well, you should definitely look into, uh, you know, Puerto Vallarta. Really? <laughs> yeah. I heard Tulum was really in. A lot of people were going to Tulum. No, Puerto Vallarta is the most beautiful honeymoon you could ever go on. Oh, my God. Sweetheart, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> All right. Well, it's my day, so if you're going to cry, yeah. go outside. Uh, Absolutely. You see this... You know what? I heard. I heard they're trying to pass some sort of law uh, that's that's going to hike up the tax rate for people who are. You, you know, I believe in trickle down theory, don't you? You look, by the way, and he <laughs> says, he says, trickle down. He goes, oh, trickle down. Reagan was a genius. I, right? Reagan was a I genius. I get him. I'm trying to. Get, I tried to get him so hyped up on this, and then I, that man. I mean, what he I did go for, for this the deeper country. thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, what was it again? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want to say your real name or, uh, bubbles would come out of my mouth, huh? Help. Okay, you want to dance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Wait, we can dance and talk. Dude, so, those, do you see those crazy people over there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, you know, like, the girl who looks, like, really sad? Uh-huh. Okay, I detected her thoughts. It seems like those other three really pale people with her are vampires. Okay. They make her do a bunch of drugs, and then they suck her blood to get high off of her. Okay, that's not that but, crazy. Okay, no, the fucking crazy thing is, you know hey, that... keep part? dancing, I'm right? so, This isn't a dance. All right. <laughs> So, you know, like, that older guy? Uh-huh. Okay. Dad, I think that maybe that was my dad. I'm what? not sure what happened. It's something fucking... I have never fucking... seen that man before. Okay, my dad is a motherfucker dickhead. And oh. he, he's, he said someone helped me by making bubbles come out of his mouth and taking him away. So he knew... What you, he knew what you had done to your father? This old guy knew what had happened to my dad. Have you told he anyone else about your dad? I don't know. Who have I... Hey, no, I think I told Alejandro about what happened to my dad. I think? I'm not sure. Do you guys remember me telling this story about my dad and the bubbles? I don't think we've heard this before. It's cool, though. Gotta say, if you can teach me that trick, that's cool. I would do that. Yeah, I think I told you guys, because then someone was like, we can kill him if you want. And I said, yeah, please go ahead and kill my dad. Oh, shit. Somebody in the in your head? Yeah, whoever 
uh, Lazarus is, someone evil did this to me and I let them. Okay, I don't like this man in the corner. I, Misty, you got any thoughts? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about what he's still there. Uh, okay, so I don't know if this is crazy. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep dancing. Okay, um, so what I think happened is you guys know how it, we keep hearing Lazarus is like, I'm leaving today. Uh huh. So. I mean, you keep hearing it and you keep telling us about right, it. Right, right, but anyway, so my dad got carried away because he was a piece of shit and I was fine with it. But what if this Lazarus guy took over? his soul or something, and then use that fountain to like clean it. Something happened with that fountain and cleaning like bad people. Yeah. They've been trying to start a conga line. But <laughs> no, no one understands what I'm doing. I guess They're all so case, small. In that case, I grabbed so, so for you doing sure, okay? They're trying to start a conga yeah. line, but like with their heads. My, I'm dancing with my, uh, my date. She's just sort of on my chest. <laughs> This buff, hot firefighter with a pigeon on his chest. It's like my necklace. Incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap a picture of that and send it to the girls at the salon and be like, Mr. March has a girlfriend. <laughs> Don't you gotta come dance with me though? I will do what I can, but not this. I only do this because you have asked this favor of me on the day of my daughter's wedding. Steve, I just want to write a really long, really heartfelt, way too intimate um, thing in like the wedding book. <laughs> Take the wedding book. Take the wedding book. Okay, well, you guys can take me. I'm writing. Oh, don't, I'm still don't writing get us in the wedding for book. a wedding book. No, I'm uh, writing, right. yeah, I'm writing write about it. the beauty of marriage. Yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> hey! Oh, what's going on? Hey, uh, we gotta head out. <laughs> God damn it, I kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, They're like making out. We're like, oh, gosh, we gotta go. I Incredible. Uh, I oh have one God. more thing. I adjust I, my contacts so I can see better. I know I'm leading them on, but I just, I feel like we got a like short term. You know, sometimes you gotta do the nice gotta thing, not the yeah. right thing. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, May I ask you, Misty, mm. and uh, before when I mentioned your age. I'm I doing was, this. I was, before I was scolded at by a man who tried to snort uh, human remains. So, well, you know, <laughs> let's let that sit with everyone. <laughs> What? You were what? A, a dude <gasps> named Cuck Rash? That no, is exactly my, what my question exactly. was. It's, who who it's, names their child Cuck Rash? My name is not. Were you like a stockbroker? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Google, I, can I go on Google and search Bruce Cugrich? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make an investigate check. This is huge for me. This right is now. crazy. The idea that I'm looking at a rat man that used to be a full man named Bruce. And he's wearing a crown. I got a four. <laughs> is there another Bruce Cuckridge? Um, there's an extremely successful <laughs> movie horse breeder named Bruce Cuckridge. I mean, movie Lost. horse breeder? He breeds horses for movies, like show horses. I show everyone. Oh my God, Wait, he breeds horses? That's why you're good with animals. No, <laughs> no I don't. Yeah, this all yeah, makes sense. It, How do you get into that kind of job? Let me tell you about my good friend, John Wilkes Booth. He was a oh. fabulous oh, actor. That's a big Fabulous. Drop. Okay. I don't say I wasn't as bad as John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> if we're all admitting secrets, I wasn't always a firefighter. <laughs> Okay, I, was no way I was in high school, and then after high school, I became a firefighter. That's not a secret. That's wow. just a normal life. Ricky, you so, so, you live. Is you what you're high saying. school, uh, then firefighter, and then or are firefighter. you leaving something else out? I community college for a year and a half. <laughs> I just keep stealing looks at Cuck Ranch, oh, trying to imagine what he looked like as a man, being like, so did, he have a, did he have a big beard? I have an app that can give people sort of makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do no, that. No, I, I wasn't. Makeup. I wasn't just like a smooth tall. ball. No. <laughs> oh my wow. God. He's he so looked like this. Wow. wow. He looked like this. That yeah. just looks like a thump. <laughs> yeah. Cug, your cheeks are so rosy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. 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 You know. Uh, your jawline is so pronounced. You see that he does a little mage hand thing and replaces the cell and the jewel, puts it in and goes, Alejandro, I hate this. You know I hate this. You know I hate this. You gonna get popcorn luck. Uh, you gonna get popcorn luck, and then what you gonna do about it? You see that he goes up, and you see that, that this uh, he makes a little uh, smoke Empire State Building with a King Kong on it going like this that sort of floats away. That's sick. Amazing. It is sick, isn't it? That's sick. There's a lot of ground to cover. Uh, Ricky, do you want to stay here with me? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. 
be lulled into slumber. I pull out Instagram. I'm like, I'm going to be up for another hour and a half. <laughs> you see, he says, he says, no, no, no. Be lulled into. When I goes gold, slumber. I have immune to sleep related harm. Would this yeah. be harm? You see that he stays there and nothing happens to you. And he goes, <laughs> okay, this is very embarrassing for me because that always kind of works. This I'm just liking that. everything. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try a little, a little harder. Uh, go to sleep. Um, you see, uh, Esther says, "Let's leave him." Let's yeah. See this. Okay. She's so cool. I'm just thinking of like, just trying to like sound cool. So I was like, "Man, there's a lot of books in here. I mean, I like to read too. Uh, something about you know, we have some time in the fire station where I can knock out a book sometimes." So. Uh, <laughs> you see, she sort of smiles and says, "Really." Yeah, if you have any recommendations for, uh, I mean, I, I guess I don't read a ton, if I'm being, like, completely honest. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm open to it. Do you it. want it's one like, of these books, Ricky? Would these be sure, what's this one? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you pulled a huge book. It's big. Wow. Um, it is written in a language you do not speak. You have no fucking idea what Amazing. this is. Amazing. Wow. Uh, make a, Each make page a, is, the letters are this. <laughs> Make a, uh, so, what's the deal with with this uh, glowing map? Glowing map? Why don't you, you you tell me what you think? Give me another Arcana check. Two. <laughs> what do you think it is? Well, so these are the highways, right? Yeah. And they're glowing. So that's uh, the traffic's really bad right now. It seems like. <laughs> it's bad see, everywhere. Uh, it's give me another. Lock. Give me another persuasion check. Two. Uh, wait, five? Twenty. Uh, I appreciate the scholarly effort. Thanks, it's really hard for me. <laughs> yeah. she, she, she looks like her heart breaks and she says, I always thought you were a bit of a uh, macho kind of guy and you, I'm grateful that you ran into the fire and saved us all, but that's sort of the kind of thing oh. that guys like you do. No, no offense. Oh. You don't take it. You see, she looks and says, you trying to learn that stuff really is brave, and I'm not downplaying that. Thanks. I um, appreciate that. Then I just take off my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make an inside check. <laughs> uh, oh, I got an eight. Um, uh, she makes some kind of expression on her face and says, have a good night, Rick, and <laughs> walks away <laughs> down the hallway. Uh, it's Bethesda fountain bullshit. That weird man at that fucking wedding. Man, what's going on? What happened to the New York that I love? I mean, I still love New York, but goddamn, we're doing okay. And then Pete shows up. I mean, he's a good kid, but come on, man. <laughs> Everything seems to be going. Who's this great baby? Alejandro smoke. <sighs> this Statue of Liberty. I'm sorry, Willie. Are you trying to? You trying to get it all with the Statue of Liberty? What a golem can dream. I'm not saying the. I, uh -huh. I just we've never talked about ladies before. I just didn't know. Well, what do you know? You guys are wouldn't. Oh, 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 okay. You want to bring that up? You know, you know what I'm actually, just saying. You oh, you just saying. All right. Listen, I don't mean to fight. Let's look. You're a man. You come down. You help me with the books. I'm happy to answer your question. I'm just saying. You tell me that it's not a fetching statue. Okay, if a statue could, I'm, I'm personally not attracted to statues, but sure, that's a beautiful, that could, that's a beautiful. What am I, Chuck Little? You don't say I'm a handsome statue. Not, okay, I've never, we've never talked about being, a, I, do, I mean, do you think I'm an attractive man? You're a very handsome man. I okay, no fine, you're a very handsome stone golem. The Russian means a lot to me. Hey, well, I'm sorry I didn't say it before. Make a perception check for me, if you'd be so kind. Hmm. Not 20. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Lost. Just out of the <laughs> leopard box. Open my box. You're, you bump face to face with Isabella Infierno. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sophia, running into you on the street. How are you doing? So late and you're by yourself. Well, I was out of town and you see she picks up a bag. Uh, it's a bag from David's bridal and it has a wedding dress in it. I vomit. <laughs> 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 
Um, <clears throat> you know you can't get married until I even see divorce papers. I haven't even gotten divorce papers yet. Oh? If this is about Dale. We don't need to have a legal wedding. Mm, a lot of what we do is really off the books. It's just a party for our friends and family to come and celebrate our love. I tear open the thing to see her wedding dress. Uh, cool. Make a make a an athletics check for me. <laughs> Doing win with her. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, I got a 22. Uh, you snatched the dress out of her hand. It is the most beautiful gown. I fall in a gown. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Isabella picks it up and says, Aww. Sophie, you're a fucking mess. I wish you the best. And listen, if you really want an invite, I'd be happy to send one your way. I actually would. I just came from a wedding and it was a really beautiful experience. I'm looking to add more to my weekends. <laughs> Assuming you guys can afford getting married on the weekends. Oh. Or are you doing one of those Friday weddings? We're doing a destination wedding. Oh yeah? Yeah. Where? We're just gonna... so I know. It says, we're gonna go out all the way to Montauk, have a wedding on the beach, June. Dale hates the beach. Yeah but I love it, and he loves me. <laughs> Bye, Sophie. You see, she walks off down the Just street. Just so you know, I would have never guessed that Dale would do to me what he did to me. So this feeling of confidence and love that you have right now, enjoy it while it lasts. She shrugs, moves on. Wow, that's what a nat 20 gets you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna go to the bar, and I take out my phone trying to do what I was planning on doing. Mm -hmm. um, but then instead, I'm just going to text Dale. Cool. Uh, you get fucking lit. Uh, what do you text Dale? I think I just say, um, I hope you get sand between your ass cheeks and your fucking beach wedding, you dick. And then I delete it. I delete it. I delete it. <laughs> and then I just say, I wish you the best. Aww. <laughs> I kneel. It's been such a long time. Oh my God, you look great. Silence! <laughs> All the glassware in your bedroom shatters. Oh, that's fine. I, I can get out the glassware. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm quiet. On your way to the little hole near a subway station, you see a little basket with a bunch of cheese in it. And you see there's a little note on it that says, wherever you are, rat Jesus, know that I love you. <laughs> Wally. Oh, oh, uh, I love Wally. Congrat breaks down crying. Oh. Uh, and um. <laughs> I think I'm going to, uh, I think Kugrash isn't ready to uh, confront Wally right now, but I want to give him a good sign. So I do that like Santa, like that parent Santa thing. I eat the cheese and I leave it out on like a plate. <laughs> and uh, I just write on a note, a uh, rat Jesus loves you. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm watching you. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching. Uh, and, and then I say, in not a creepy way. <laughs> I was just Peter, what you do in the dream matters. I, I don't know. I was just doing what I would normally do in the day to day. What you would normally do is. They didn't even give me money. <laughs> Tune in next week and see what's bugging our intrepid heroes. I hate bugs. <laughs>